so today I wanted to share with you a way that I organize and kind of store my collaging materials. I am very, very much into mixed media art that I think is kind of my favorite is pushing art materials and techniques to their limitations and seeing how far beyond that we can go. And as a mixed media artist who loves collage, I end up with a lot of collage scraps. So I like to have different ways that I organize this so that I can easily access my collage materials when I'm ready to collage, but I can also easily put them away when it's time to clean up my art space or I'm ready to work on a different project. So I wanted to share some of those strategies with you. I like saving different boxes and having a variety of sizes. So there's a bunch of different, I get a bunch of different things in the mail and every now and then certain boxes have a, the perfect size, the perfect way they open to be ideal places to store my collage materials. So I have larger pieces like this, where I think we ordered a calendar. So this is nice and long, but it's also wide. So larger sheets of decorative paper can just slide right in there. And that's a great place to store those. And then when I'm ready to work with them, or I, I know I need a big background paper, or I just want to see what large inspiration is in there, I can go ahead and just pull that out. So then I would label this. I would say a large, large scale decorative paper. And then I know like, oh, I want to work on a big project. What are my options? And I can easily pull those out. I also then like to organize my smaller papers into boxes like this that have a lid because then I can easily stack them on my shelves. I can move them around my space and I don't have to worry about the pages falling out. So the pieces that go well in here are some of my smaller scraps. So again, you know, this one is bigger, so maybe I'll tear it so that it fits better. If it's still a little too big, I've got another storage option for that. But all of these small papers just go in here. And then when I'm ready for them, I can dig them out and go through them, work with them, incorporate them into my collages, and then easily pack them back up to store for later. Now, some of these papers of my larger papers or like magazine size pages like this I like to put in folders so one thing that we were always encouraged to do in high school art class that I continued through my own college years as well as becoming a high school art teacher was to have my students collect references so these were usually magazine images that they would find I like to go for colors and textures and patterns anything that I think might be fun to use later on and that way I'm not having a lot of magazines lying around. I'm just keeping the bits that might be future inspiration. So those store really well in a regular standard size, you know, school folder that you can find in any office supply section. And these are great because I can stack these on my shelf or I can stack them this way and the pages don't fall out and they're very easy to go through, especially when I haven't used those pages yet. And then as they get more cut up, they get moved over to the boxes when they're a little a little more unwieldy or might have some rough edges that make it harder to neatly stack them in there. For my larger papers, I have, I save the boxes that our yogurt comes in. When we buy yogurt, we buy a lot of it. So <laughs> the grocery store tends to put them in these larger boxes. And then this needs a little bit of organization just because I've been doing a lot of collage. So I kind of need to take a few moments to resort my materials. But this is great because this box is very large. If I flip it over so you can see the size of it. It's nice and tall, it doesn't have a lid, but as long as everything is within the box, I can still easily stack it with my other collage materials and then everything can kind of stay organized. So smaller boxes for your cut up in you know, partially used pieces. A large open box like this is great for larger pieces of paper. Then if you've got everything everything's kind of you know just a couple sheets that you've done if you just had some fun with watercolor or whatever other media ends up with you know large decorative sheets a binder kind of a portfolio box style like this is great and then for any magazine or photograph organization the folder is a really great idea so these are some of the ways that i organize my collage materials so that when I'm ready, I can easily get them out and sort through them and find inspiration. And when I'm done, I can easily put everything back in its home and move on with my day or to my next project. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any ways that you organize your collage materials, 
I would love for you to share those. So feel free to comment below and add your tips and tricks or ask further questions about storing art supplies, tackling collage, whatever I can help with. Have a great day.